Hey guys, it's Eric from Fun Intelligent Training. Uh, just wanted to show you guys a different take on a somewhat old school exercise. So we've done this exercise for a while, and then one night, late at night, I was playing around the kettlebell in my living room and came up with some ways to spice it up. Um, so the exercise is the kettlebell figure eight. So this first part is gonna be a little bit more detail oriented to get you guys understanding what we're doing, and then from there we'll be able to progress it a little more quickly. So a standard kettlebell figure eight, the way that we teach it is to maintain a nice proud chest. You're gonna be basically in your squat stance, maybe even a little bit wider. You're gonna think head high, butt low. So nice proud chest, you're going overhand grip, right hand on the right horn. You're gonna maintain that upright posture, passing it double overhand in that figure eight configuration. So here, we're trying to avoid having too much hip flex. You're trying to keep that spine upright when you do it. Forward and then backwards, we'll do the same concept. Right hand, right horn, starting behind and coming in front. So with these particular versions, we're going to get a little bit more specific, especially regarding uh, your grip and your transitions. So what we want to do is always ensure as that kettlebell is moving forward, that the open horn is facing forward. So when we're going to start, right hand, right horn, as I make this pass and I come around, open horn is forward. I'm going to rotate it, make my pass, double overhand, open horn forward. Okay? So that's our first stage. Oops. That's our first stage here. Ensure that you can do this, maintaining that good upright posture with that open horn facing forward. You'll see exactly why we want you to do that as we move forward. All right, so hopefully you've watched the video we just did about the basics of the kettlebell figure eight. The next thing we're going to do is turn this into a little bit more of a hip dominant motion. So it's kind of going to be a, there's going to be some components of a kettlebell swing to it, but it's a little bit more simplistic. You don't have to, to get into quite as much detail. So it allows us to take uh, less skilled and less conditioned trainees and have them be able to, to really get this uh, very beneficial pattern going. So everything else is equal. We're going to start right hand on the right horn, starting, passing it front to back, double overhand grip once again, once again ensuring that that empty horn is coming forward as that kettlebell comes. So the thing that you want to do now is we're going away from that knee dominant upright position. We're adding a little bit of hip flexion into it and extending those hips forcefully as we come forward. So a little bit of knee flexion, adding quite a bit of additional hip flexion, getting a little bit of swing with that kettlebell, but we're not having to be quite as specific as we will be with a kettlebell swing. So this allows us to get a little bit more of that metabolic conditioning in here and help people to start grooving this pattern before they may be ready to get into a swing. And now this is where we're really going to spice up this figure eight and the variations that we're going to do. Um, so most of you that are familiar with kettlebells know what the bottoms up position is. For those of you that don't, this is the bottom of kettlebell, and this is bottoms up. So any way that you have the bottom of that kettlebell facing upright. So what we're going to do now is take that variation we just utilized that has a little bit more of that hip dominance to it, and we're going to come into a bottoms up uh, rack position. So. Once again, right hand on the right horn. We're going to come from here, back, drive those hips, and just get just enough of a pause in that catch to control it before you move back on. Boom. Now, with all of these, you want to be going in the opposite direction as well. I'm not demonstrating in all of them, but know that right hand, right horn, behind, to in front. As you do this, now you're going to have to really pay attention in order to get that empty horn forward. As you come, I'm going to make a quick rotation, okay? Make that pass, double over, quick rotation, okay? So here, here, make sure you have this mastered before you move on, because if you don't, bad news, okay? Now we're coming up, boom, 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 right there. So this, you're really starting to get some metabolic benefit to this. Um, get that heart rate up, start getting your sweat going. So stay tuned for the last and final that we're going to show you today. All right, now you've seen three variations on the kettlebell figure eight. This fourth one here is going to be more advanced. We've actually had really good luck progressing people up to this 
in a pretty short amount of time. But you really need to make sure that they master each of the previous levels before you progress them to this point. So what we're doing here, once again, we're going with the figure eight, we're going bottoms up, but we're going to finish with this overhead. So you need to ensure that first and foremost, someone has the grip strength to maintain this. The last thing you want is to have, you know, it's a 20 kilo bell, so 45 pounds over your head coming straight down, that's bad news. So once again, starting, we'll always start in this direction here, right hand, right horn coming front to back, and then afterwards we'll go right hand, right horn, back to front. So what we're doing here, as we come through, we're forcefully extending those hips. Boom. Boom. Few things to pay attention to here. Number one, I've noticed a lot of people coming from here, they're trying to bring that kettlebell back behind them. Your shoulder is not designed to do that. That is no good. So if you're training with us, please be aware that you need to be paying attention to that and then we'll call you on it if you're a professional out there that's going to start trying to utilize these variations with your clients, with your members, really keep an eye on that. That is just bad news right there. So what you want to do is you want that bell to be coming down in this direction, similar to a swing. You want to take all that kinetic energy that gravity is giving you and load up that posterior chain. Load those hamstrings, load, that, load those glutes so that you have that energy stored and you're ready to extend your hips again when you're coming in to that next repetition. Once again, if we're going in the opposite direction, right hand, right horn, we're going back to front. Need to make that pivot immediately before we get into it. Boom, pivot, and up. So you just want to pause just long enough to show that you have control of that bell before you come down to the next round. So let us know your thoughts on that. Uh, hope you guys have a good day. If you've got any questions, feel free to let us know. This is Eric with FunIntelligentTraining.com. See you guys. So, there are four different variations on the kettlebell figure eight. Most of those, a lot of people probably haven't seen before. Um, so, let me know what your thoughts on that is. Are, is, are, is, done, did, do. We'll see if Tony cuts that out or if he makes me look like a fool. That'll be interesting. <laughs>